the last part of our forces math is just talking about net forces. So let's write an example problem down. So if we have two dogs that are pulling on a rope, so Yogi pulls on the rope with a force of 15 newtons and Leroy pulls on the rope with a force of 10 newtons, who wins? And what is the net force? So when we're looking at this, you're just basically looking at unbalanced forces versus balanced forces and identifying in which direction would the force be winning. So there's Yogi, there's Leroy. These are actually family dogs. And so I thought this would be a fun example here. So if Yogi is pulling with a force of 15 newtons this direction, I would want to write, write down that I have Yogi pulling with a force of 15 newtons and Leroy is pulling with a force of 10 newtons, who is gonna win and how many newtons would they win by? And so this one is just visualizing those balanced or unbalanced forces and writing out this in kind of model form, if you will. And so Yogi is 15 newtons to the left, Leroy is only 10 newtons to the right, and so Yogi wins with a net force of five newtons to the left. All right, you should be able to finish all of your net forces problems as well and all of your forces math pages.